about two and a half years ago, we had a new plant leader that had come in. And we had a problem on the line. We had a motor that had burnt a lead off. While I was up there working on the motor, our new plant leader came up and asked me, he says, isn't there a better way of finding this before it breaks down? And with my background with infrared, I knew that there were cameras out there that we could detect hot conditions in motor wiring. Um, and that's what led us to get into infrared. A lot of people out there think that uh, thermal imaging is electrical only. Uh, we shoot our motor control panels uh, just like everybody else but we also use it a lot in the mechanical aspect, uh, looking for misaligned couplings, um, belts, uh, gearboxes, motors. Um, again, you think of motor as electrical, but we're doing an actual scan of the outside, which is going to show us whether we have a field that is unbalanced. Uh, we're also looking at the bearings in that motor. Um, so I would say it, it's a good all-around instrument across electrical and mechanical. I was actually the person that made the decision to buy a fluke camera. Um, I served 20 years in the military, 17 of which, again, was in a calibration lab. Through that time, I worked with many fluke calibration standards and also the equipment that was out in the field. And I learned a high respect for fluke equipment. It's, it's rugged, it's tough, and it's very dependable. So when it was time to look for a camera, I went to Fluke to see what was available. Some of the camera features that stood out to me were the, the rugged build of the camera. It's, it's a very easy camera to handle. It's a, a one-handed operation, but it's very ruggedly built. It's built to take the atmosphere that you're going to be using it in. I was drawn to Fluke strictly because of their reputation and my working with Fluke products over the years. Uh, their, the product sells itself. It's really a no-brainer from my standpoint.